all right what's up so basically in the last video yeah we looked at how to create our login on system using our uh, in our api so today we're going to be creating a a push request feed so basically this is like the api that's going to allow users to be able to like post um something to the forum all right so with that out of the way let's go ahead and start so the first thing we want to do is head over and create a new file so we're going to do that and do php at the side make controller all right so this controller we're going to create it in a feed folder so i'm going to call it feed folder i'm going to call it um feed controller all right so if you go ahead and hit uh, enter you will notice that in our controller folder here we are going to be having a new folder called feed and inside the feed we are going to be having a new file which is feed controller and while that is actually running i'm just going to go ahead and rerun my server again because i actually closed it the last time the last time so i'm going to rerun this so now you notice that our feed folder is here already that we have the feed controller good so basically this is what we want then um let's go ahead and move to the part that is um, actually required which is that we are going to create the database migration okay all right so basically the next one to do now is now go ahead and create a model so let's do php at the sound make model all right so they want to create a migration for the model but before that we have to give our model a name so i'm going to call this feed then i'm going to set it to create a migration so basically this is going to create a model for us like this which is this feed dot php which looks like this user.php that we made use of recently that is going to create a migration file for us which is basically what this um, part that is required so with that done what we want to head over and do is uh we want to create a relationship between the users and the feed table so that we will know that when you put make a feed you want to pass in the user id instead of it so we have to know that okay this was the user that created the post so to do that first thing we need to do is set this to something like big increment and i'm going to name this an id then i'm going to create a new field called table which is going to be foreign id all right so the foreign id is going to be user id all right so um i think before i do that i have to first do table then i have to do on sign big integer which is a um, user id okay so we have to first do something like this and we select foreign id user then we say on uh, a reference so reference what table to the user's table uh, no reference id then on on what on the user's table all right, so you are basically telling it you want user id to be equal to the id on the user from the user's table so once that is done already the next we can go ahead and do is just pass in uh, um, a text field which we can call content basically what the user is posting and yep that is all we need for our database so we need the user id and the content table all right so one, first thing i realized is that you know initially we had if you have unsigned integer instead of unsigned big integer it's not gonna work so make sure you have unsigned big integer here and this will actually be funny not for an id all right so once that is done already what we can go ahead and do is run our migration all right you can see this i created our created our feed table for us so we go ahead and check it out you see we have our feed table right here which is accepting user id and the contact good so since that is out of the way now what we can go ahead and do is um no in our feed controller let's go to our feed controller here let's go ahead and create a new um method or function whatever you can call it so i'm going to name this store all right and i'm going to just clear this so for this store here we need our request so we are going to make php artisan make request so what request are we making we are making the push request all right so let's get a check it for the push request there's just one thing we wanted to do want to do which is to validate our content field so we are going to do content it's going to be required it must be a string and the minimum value for it should be like let's say six all right then don't forget to set this to be true okay so we can clear this now once that is done already in our feed controller we can go ahead and pass it just like we did in the register and create and log it up in we can got this uh, request okay now once that is done already what you can go ahead and do is now do request validated which is going to validate our feed for us using our push request then once that's done already all you can go ahead and do is um passing the user id so basically to get user id we can go ahead and do uh, 
we could actually do something like this which is user id equals to alt you see i'm gonna grab the user and grab the id like this so basically this is like a long journey kind of stuff and we don't need to do that so to to write our code in a shorter and neater way we can go ahead and just do alt select the alt so from the alt we're going to select the user and from the user now we're going to select the feed and you notice this feed here we've not created it so how are we supposed to create this feed first we have to go to the user model so for this user model now we have to go under here do public function we're going to call this feeds so basically the user will have many feeds and i'm going to um pass in um as many here all right so the, the user will have many fields okay okay so um yeah so you can do this then we can go and do return this as many so as many words as many fields meaning the user can create many fields and you know and those fields can belong to the user so we have to specify the belong part also so go to the field model here. and this field model here, there's something you have to first do which is protected fillable so basically we're telling it to accept only these fields are uh, fields so we are going to say we want to accept the user id and you also want to accept um the content all right so those are the big basic two things i want to accept so if you are passing any other thing again it's not going to go through so now we can go ahead and create our function also which is public function this is user and this user here is going to be belongs to so basically we are saying if it belongs to a user so we're going to say belong to now we can go ahead and do return this belongs to belongs to who? to the user all right beautiful you notice that we use um singular here because this is a user not like users then you notice that in the user class here we use feeds because this has many so feeds so basically now we have to go back here and set this to be feeds then we can go ahead and call um create on it okay so the great is just to say okay we want this particular user the authenticated user to create a to create a post a feed actually i mean so you can go ahead and call content so your content is going to be equals to request then content as it is good so once that is done you can go ahead and do return response okay like i'm gonna do message is equals to success okay i'm gonna pass in http response response here of um two over which is um response created all right so once this is done already next we need to do is add it to our route so in our route here we can basically just copy this and this is going to be a push request which is going to be pointed to the store okay store then we're going to select the feed controller we are going to select store all right go ahead and save this now good open your open your postman and um i believe you can duplicate this basically i just like duplicating most of your stuff then we can go and do store sorry about this okay so for this store is a little bit weird so let's go ahead and do something like feed then we can go ahead and pass in store all right so save it so let's go and do feed then store okay then let's just go ahead and send a request so you notice that the content field is required so you can go ahead and just change this to content now i'm gonna go ahead and call this hello world hello world okay go ahead and send this and notice it says attempt to do property fees or not yeah because we are not actually getting the user because I believe um, the user is not actually passed in here. So I, th I think what we can do is um, see this fee store here. We can copy it and paste it inside our sanctum middleware. All right. Then instead of using this function here, instead of using this function, we can just go ahead and pass in. Um, no. Okay. You know what i'm just going to copy this so let, let me just do it the way i understand this so let's just copy the middle eye the middle way i mean go ahead and cut it then let's go ahead and make this a post request 
a push request then inside of it we can go and pass in our feed controller class select the store and we can go and pass in middle here which is this and we can cut this away and um, let's go ahead and test this again so open up the postman and click on send now we have the message on un unauthenticated yes because we've not actually logged in and gotten our distance so let's go ahead and log in here login good so we can go ahead and copy our our http uh, our token there so now you go to the authorization select barrier token go ahead and paste it right here now if you head over back to body and just click send you have method that says um method eliminate where it does not exist okay i believe uh because in the feed here i believe i have to also wrap this in the parentheses like this yep don't worry about the red stuff he's still going, going to work i think it's a visual studio that doesn't like recognize that type of um, laravel relationship so go to the postman again and let's go ahead and click send uh, you see sources here basically our post has been created so if you head over back to our database click browse you see we have our user id we have hello world and it has been created already all right so if you like this tutorial please make sure you like and subscribe and in the next tutorial we are going to be creating the like system for our posts see you next time peace